How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Countdown video. We only have 38 days left until the game's release on December 7th and today I'm coming at you with what the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct might look like on Thursday this week. As always, and I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this is actually what it's going to look like, so make sure you take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you'd like to read along while I talk, you find a link to the original post in the description bar down below, and now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what some people on Reddit are thinking that it's going to look like. So earlier today, I was browsing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Reddit page, and I came across this really interesting post discussing what the Smash Ultimate Direct might be like when it's released on Thursday. Now, I just a little disclaimer, these are not my thoughts, but they actually come from a user on Reddit named Rogram, and tomorrow I will be discussing my own thoughts in a video, so look forward to that, but for right now I found this post extremely interesting so let's talk about it. Once again, this was made by a user named Rogram, so special shout out to you, and it is titled, How Thursday Will Go Down, Smash Ultimate Direct Predictions. It starts by saying, So I know most leaks will say there's new characters coming into Smash Ultimate, or that someone is wrong, but I want to stray from all of that and talk about the new Direct coming this Thursday. This will be 85% prediction, and the other 25% will count as a leak if I end up being correct. Remember, we all know what Sakurai is like, so keep in mind that I may be wrong or get some things jumbled up. This will also be leaning heavily on the Grinch leak, as all characters will be the characters shown from said leak, and this is going to be the final direct unless there's a second one later on in November. The Direct will start out with the reveal of either Isaac or the Chorus Kids. The Chorus Kids will probably come after Isaac, if not first. The Chorus Kid trailer will last about 2 minutes, while Isaac will last 3 due to him having a new stage, Venus slash Mercury Lighthouse. Note that I haven't played Golden Sun, so I said both just in case I got that mixed up. Now, this part relates to that stuff with Koro Koro leaking 108 stages, then changing it back to 103. If it's 108 stages, they will reveal some unseen stages and probably Poke Floats. Unlikely that they'll include Poke Floats, but it's good to dream. Shadow and Ken will come next and have mini trailers that have a similar length to the trailers for Dark Samus and Krom. It'll take up as much time as it did to reveal Krom and Dark Samus. Gino will come after the Echoes. It will last about two and a half minutes at the most. A stage is unknown, but my guest is Forest Maze from Super Mario RPG, which is the game he's from. Mock Rider will come after either the Chorus Kids or Gino, and it takes up to two minutes. It's more likely that she will come after the Chorus Kids, but I don't want to deny that she might come after Gino due to popularity. Banjo and Kazooie will be the final character revealed. It takes up 3 minutes or more and will have Spiral Mountain appearing as their stage. They will also talk about Spirits Mode before or after Banjo's reveal and talk about how it will work. They also discuss a few other smaller things such as more insight to the new tournament mode and such between reveals. So in short, here's the order that helps simplify what I'm getting at. Isaac or the Chorus Kids, Mock Rider, New Stages, Ken and Shadow, New Modes, Geno, Spirits, Banjo, Spirits, it could be after, a special announcement, I'm saying this because knowing Sakurai, he will more than likely do it to us, he has an unpredictable nature, so for all we know we could get something like Incineroar, or Sora as Vergamen said, or maybe some other news like a 50 fact extravaganza, which will lead into the first batch of DLC. Just know that anything is possible thanks to Cloud. Now, as for the stages and modes, you could put new stages and new modes anywhere after Chorus Kids and before Banjo or Spirits. I can't tell you how these reveals will go down, but honestly, I'm just hoping they all get revealed in one go, like the melee opening. So now that we've gone over the entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So remember guys, before we do start talking about this, this is not a leak but it is instead a prediction. The reason I decided to talk about it is because it aligns pretty closely to what I believe, so I just wanted to go over it because it is fun. So first of all, the first thing I noticed about this leak is that he said it's 85% prediction and the other 25% is counted as a leak if he ends up being correct. 
Well, 85 plus 25 is 110. Now, I just thought that was really funny, just because he put that in probably on accident, but I found that funny. So he says that this is going to be leaning heavily on the Grinch League, so obviously we got all the characters revealed from the Grinch League, and those are probably all of the characters that are going to be revealed. Now, it's unlike Sakurai to announce more than five characters, because we know in the last um, Ultimate Direct we got two newcomers and then three Echo Fighters, so I find it a little unlikely that we're going to be getting five newcomers all with CGI trailers and also two new Echo Fighters, but Sakurai is unpredictable. Personally, I believe that what's going to happen is that we're going to get a couple characters revealed in this Direct, and then later on, the line, d later on down the line, we're going to get a couple more characters revealed similarly to how Robin was revealed in Super Smash Bros. 4. Next, I think that the part with them revealing Isaac or the Chorus Kids first is probably correct, but I'm leaning more towards Isaac being revealed first. As we saw in the last Smash Ultimate Direct, they revealed a super awesome character at the beginning and then another awesome one at the end, and I think they're going to do something similar to that. Now, I think that Isaac is going to be the character revealed first, just because a lot of people have really been pushing for him, and a lot of people really want him in the game, But and I can't really see the Chorus Kids being revealed first, just because they aren't as sought after and as highly requested as Isaac is, so I think that they're going to open up with Isaac's trailer. After that, I think during like the middle of the Direct we'll probably get the Chorus Kids, but then again, Sakurai is unpredictable so we have no way of knowing. Then Shadow and Ken being revealed, similarly to how Dark Samus and Krom were revealed, makes a lot of sense just because as we know they are going to be Echo Fighters, and since they're Echo Fighters they don't get a long CGI trailer, but instead they get a 30 second to a minute long trailer just showing off a couple of their moves, so I think that that once again that does make a lot of sense. However, Ken and Shadow are two pretty big and iconic characters, I think more so than Krom and Dark Samus. So in some ways, I could possibly see them feeding off another character CGI trailer, but I don't think that they're going to get their own. After that, we have Geno's reveal, and honestly, this is where I'm starting to get a little doubtful of this. Just because I think that what they're going to end up doing with Geno is, they're going to be like, okay, Geno is the final character revealed, and then as we know at the end of the Direct, Sakurai is going to be like, actually, I have one more announcement I forgot about, and then announce Banjo-Kazooie. On this list, it says that Geno is going to be revealed somewhere in the middle or in the second half of the Direct, and I just can't really see that happening. Geno is probably the most fan-requested character out there, I'd say even more than Banjo and Kazooie, so I think that they should put Geno at the end, even though I do expect Banjo and Kazooie just because, as everybody knows, they are owned by Rare, which is owned by Microsoft, so we know that a ton of people are going to be super surprised when they see them make it up on screen, including myself. I really do think Geno deserves to be the last character revealed, but at the same time, I could see why Banjo-Kazooie would take the spot instead. And then we have Mock Rider's reveal, and once again, this is one of those characters that I think would work better being revealed with the Chorus Kids or more near the Chorus Kids in the middle. I say this because Mock Rider, once again, was not a very highly sought after character, not a lot of people really expected him or wanted him to be in the game, so I'm not sure why Sakurai would reveal him so late. However, at the same time, the Duck Hunt dog in Smash 4 was one of the last characters revealed, so I could, I guess I could see the new Retro Rep being revealed near the end. However, I still do think that since Mock Rider is so not sought after and not so highly requested, he'd work better with the Chorus Kids, just because those two are the characters that people are going to be like, awesome, they're in the game, but at the same time it's not going to be as hype as Geno or Banjo-Kazooie, but I guess we probably do need a break between Geno and Banjo-Kazooie, just because their reveals are going to be so hype. And then finally, we have the last character reveal, which is Banjo-Kazooie. Now, right away, as you guys know, I think that Geno should be the last character revealed, just because Geno seems to be the most popular character that people have been wanting for a long time. But at the same time, Banjo-Kazooie was requested to be in Super Smash Bros. Melee, Sakurai really likes them, and they're owned by Microsoft, so I guess it would make sense for them to be the last character reveal, since it is going to be really big. Personally, I have no personal attachment to Banjo-Kazooie at all, so I'm indifferent either way, but if he is last, then I guess he's the last one. I'm sure Sakurai is going to surprise us with a DLC character announcement, similar to how Mewtwo went down, but at the same time, there's no way of knowing until Thursday. But let me know what you guys think about these predictions in the comment section down below. Do you believe that everything that's been predicted here is going to end up happening, and would you be happy if it was? Why or why not? Thank you guys all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.